they can. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to Amnesty International. Uh, please fill out the attendance form and we'll get started. There's going to be a pretty quick meeting compared to like our other ones. So, yeah. Um, so for today, we're just going to do so make sure you do attendance. We're just going to give a lobbying update and then we're going to talk about the death penalty, which is like that piece of legislation has been being pushed a lot recently in Virginia specifically. And we're gonna talk about right for rights real quick. Oh wait, um, can you guys make sure to just follow with us on the slides? Cause there are um, some things that you might want to. Like yeah, okay. So yeah, as for lobbying, um, we all know what happened at the Capitol and many of like Congress people were there and it's just really hectic right now. So they're not taking any appointments or meetings, especially our representative who's representative Wexton. Her office has like turned down meetings so far so they can just kind of like get in the swing of things, get back into order. So for that reason, we're putting a hold on that, but lobbying's like a year long thing. We can do it whenever we want. So it's not really like, this isn't the last opportunity and we'll be doing it like later on in the year. And yeah, so for those of you who wanted to lobby for the death penalty, this is like your opportunity to like do something for it. So actually, actually pretty recently, our governor, Ralph Northam, he decided that he would give in all full efforts and put all of his participation towards abolishing the death penalty in Virginia, which is pretty significant because um, that would make Virginia the first of the Southern states to abolish the death penalty. And if um, there's also like something that Virginia has had the most amount of people executed due to the death penalty, all the way dating back from the 1600s. So it's a pretty big thing. Um, and for that, so if you can take a look at this, is it presenting when I want to present? Okay, let me read it. Okay, so if you look at this here, so again, just some background. We've been working against the death penalty coalition. And um, so in the Senate, they've passed the bill to abolish death penalty, which is capital punishment on Tuesday, January 26th, which is actually yesterday, not today. But the final floor vote is on Friday and we can anticipate a victory there and anything like that. But the delegate vote is what will be closer. And obviously since there's way more delegates, it'll be like, it'll be a close call and they'll be voting for this on the House floor on Monday, February 1st, which means if you want to take some action and act and like help, this will probably be the biggest thing you can do. And trust me, it does help because it's so near, like, again, would there be voting on this next week? And a lot of the um, legislators in Virginia, um, there are many who are Democrat, but the thing is, they're kind of still not towards the complete leftist side. They're more, um, they're less liberal than other representatives. So it's really important that if you really feel strongly about this, you should push for it. And how you can do that is, so if you're a member of, I was 2R, um, you can sign this house action alert. It's a link. You just put in your name, your email, probably phone number, they'll ask you for your address and your zip code, which you'll have to do to prove that you're constituent of Virginia and the um, area that we're trying to reach. And then if you want to push that even further, which is, this is almost like really helpful, you can follow with a phone call. This is a number and this link is in the slideshow. So you just call them, you give your name, your address, phone number. Um, you can say you're from Amnesty International, your constituent of Amnesty International. And you can say, we hope that my, our representative, which would be Jennifer Wexon, we hope that you'll be voting for this bill, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, that's basically it. So that's pretty quick. And again, if you feel strongly about it, I really encourage you to do it because it definitely makes a difference. Um, going back to our regular slideshow.
So uh, once again, this year, we're going to participate in the nationwide rights for right for rights campaign in which uh, every year millions of individuals write letters, sign petitions and organize events for people who have been jailed unjustly around the world. So in doing that, we write letters to these individuals um, and their government specifically in hopes of freeing them. So. Uh, these are the people we're going to write to. In Burundi, there's Jermaine Rukuki. In Colombia, there's um, Jane Silvi Johnny Sylvia. In Pakistan, there's Idris Katak. In Saudi Arabia, there's Nasima Al Sada. In uh, in Turkey, there's the Metu Pride Defenders. At, in USA, there's families currently in detention on ICE facilities. And um, also in the USA, there's Tayana Lofton. So um, we want every member to write five letters uh, to any of these individuals whose stories personally resonate with you. So you don't actually have to write anything. Um, basically what you have to do is we have templates for each one of them. Um, and you go onto that PDF and you copy and paste it into a Google doc and then just sign your name to the bottom. So, um, I have an example on the on the next slide, so don't worry about that right now. But uh, if you do have any like personal stories or things you want to add to the like already pre made letter, feel free to do so if you know the story particularly resonates with you. And then once you finish your five letters, we have a submission form. So just make sure to turn it in. And the links to all of these are in that submission form. So once you open that submission form, you can see it. Um, it, the letters are due by January 31st, so there isn't as much time. This only takes like two to three minutes to do, and it's really important that everyone does it. If you want to write letters to all seven people, feel free, but we're only requiring you to write letters to five of them. And uh, do make sure that you sign it with your name. So if you just want to open this um, example, the last link. So this is kind of how your Google Doc should look. So um, this beginning part is all in um, that template that we uh, that we have that's linked to the on the form, and then at the end you just sign your name. So just pick five or do all seven if you really want to, and just sign your name to it. And it's as simple as that. Make sure you get it done as soon as possible, but the deadline is January thirty first. Okay, so are there any questions about that? Because I know that was a little confusing. These are pretty like, quick things for you guys to do. So I know we're not doing a lot as of right now because our main thing is like lobbying, but again, these are this is these are forms of lobbying A and B. Again, they're just pretty quick things to do that will actually help make a difference. So we definitely encourage you to do it. So yeah. If you don't have any questions, you guys can go. That's it. Thank you. Thank you for coming. What date do we put on for the attendance form? Because there's no uh, 11, oh, 127. Just, uh, let me yeah. just change the form. Oh, I just did I already did the 111. Um, also, for the uh, form, the submission form on the W4R, mm -hmm. the email, do, does it matter? Do we just do personal or school? It doesn't matter. Okay, cool.